Hi everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at the exponential distribution in this video and we're going to use Minitab to calculate the probabilities. So first, just a little bit of general information about these distributions. It's a continuous distribution and it's commonly used to measure the expected time for an event to occur. For example, in physics, it's used to measure the radioactive decay of materials. Um, engineering uses it to measure the time associated with receiving a defective part on an assembly line. And for my business majors out there, in finance, we can use it to measure the likelihood of the next default for a portfolio of financial assets. And what we know is that if events happen independently and randomly, but with a constant rate over time, then the waiting time between successive events follows this exponential distribution. One of the neat things about it is it is memoryless. So this memoryless property says that future probabilities don't depend on any past information. So when the last event occurred has no impact or influence on when the next event occurs. There is a relationship between the exponential and the Poisson distribution. As long as the events happen independently and at a constant rate over time, this relationship holds. And what we know is that the actual number of events in any fixed time period is Poisson distributed, but the waiting time between those events is exponential. So we're going to look at a, an example. So we're going to say the average wait time at a self-service car wash is 60 seconds. If the wait times are exponentially distributed, what's the probability that a customer will wait at least 105 seconds. So we're going to use Minitab to calculate that probability. So here I am in Minitab. I'm going to come up to Calc, come down to Probability Distributions, and because this is a continuous distribution and I want all of the probabilities of being at least 105 seconds, I select my Cumulative Distribution function the first thing I'm going to do is pick my distribution out of this big list and I want exponential. We just got a single value. I don't have data in any kind of column and my value was 105 seconds. <clears throat> so my scale is going to be the mean and we said that they waited on average 60 seconds. We leave threshold at zero and I'm just going to display them in my worksheet and I hit OK. All right, so what Minitab has given us is the probability of less than or equal to 105. Remember, the cumulative distribution function only solves from a value from x down to 0, and we wanted at least meaning greater than or equal to 105 seconds. This means that I have to subtract 1 minus the point 8262 to give me the probability that they wait at least 105 seconds of 0.173774. So, wasn't too bad, was it? I hope this helps and thanks for watching.